Miss Lab has rendering and image capture features that provide fast means to create unified surfaces from several geometry elements. The view shows a project that appears to be a high map low relief surface. This is not the case. The layers dialog shows the presence of several elements. Rotation of the viewpoint displays an arrangement of both low relief and high relief elements. Import, selection, layer and manipulation functions are used to load, separate, adjust and position elements to suit project requirements. When adjustments are satisfactory, Control H establishes a default view. Pressing shift and rotating the mouse wheel reduces FOV angle, in this case, to around 6 degrees. The view is enlarged to fill the on-screen area. Tool options are adjusted, changing the base light diffuse color to white. Render, Shaders, Death Map GDP activates the Death Map Shader and launches Setup Controls. The Uniform Variables tab is selected to display control sliders for the Death Map Shader. Adjusting the sliders provides local control of the grayscale range applied by the shader. Interactive adjustment ensures the grayscale is usefully spread between elements. Lower geometry should be darker but must not be blacked out. Higher elements should be lighter. The highest geometry should approach white, but whiteout must also be avoided to prevent the flattening of important detail. The snapshot function captures an image of the active mesh lab display with transparent background. A path and file name for the saved image are nominated. MeshLab adds an incremented numerical suffix, controlled by a counter value. Screen multiplier value controls saved image resolution. In this case, screen multiplier value is 3. Pressing save captures the image. The view shows a brief preview of the capture then reverts to the active project display. Render, Shaders, Radiance Scaling applies the shader and launches a control options panel. Settings are adjusted to suit preference. A captured image of the shader effect will be combined with a saved depth map using the hint to add detail in a composite height map. A snapshot is quickly captured. Render, color, per vertex, makes the display use colors derived from object vertex properties. Filters, color creation and processing, and the occlusion per vertex, calculates element vertex colors based on visibility from the current point of view. A control options panel appears. Default settings are fine in most cases. A use GPU acceleration option allows graphics hardware acceleration to speed up calculations. Apply puts calculated vertex color values in place. Clearly visible vertices are shaded lighter. Less visible vertices are shaded darker. Filters, color creation and processing vertex color levels adjustment is launched. This filter allows interactive control of element vertex colors. Max output level is adjusted to interactively enhance representation of detail in the selected element. Apply puts adjustments in place. The process is repeated if desired for other elements. A wide range of color variation is available to suit the user requirement. When adjustments are complete, a snapshot captures results. If desired, individual snapshots can be captured to assist selection of elements when compositing the combined height map with a hint.
detection images are composited to produce a high quality eye map, as described in the site 3D measure seen to best relief carving tutorial. Displacement tools like the MD Vendor or 3D Passage process the composite eye map to a detailed low relief surface.